Hello, this is David and welcome to episode number 17 of Make Me Proud, the YouTube series documenting my campaign to become a better sprint swimmer. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look back at my 50 meters freestyle race at the Scottish Masters National Short Course Championships 2023, which took place last weekend. And for those of you that watched my video detailing my results last week will know that in said 50 meter freestyle race, I came in with a time of 28.58 seconds, which constitutes a 0.75 second PB. So a, you know, an absolutely ecstatic result there in terms of my times. I think the large proportion of that was down to my Mizuno swimming trunks, race swimming trunks that I was wearing on the day as opposed to any improvements in training. Um, however, also off the back of that, um, I was hoping to go a little bit faster. I thought the trunks would enable me to go just that little bit further and take an extra bit of time off. Um, prior to the race, I was hoping to go a sub 28, so a 27 point. And similarly, after the race with one of my friends watching uh, the breakdown of the 50 meters freestyle video, um, they also were of the opinion that based on my 100 meter freestyle time that I achieved that I should be capable of a 27 point. So we're going to take a look back at the 50 meter freestyle race and conduct a technical analysis of it. So if you would give this video a like, I would very much appreciate it. And if you would subscribe to this channel to join in with me on this swimming adventure, I would absolutely love that. But otherwise, without any further ado, let's dive right in to today's episode. So a good dive into the water means that I come out towards the front of the pack in this race and I'm straight into a nice quick stroke rate. Still a little bit clunky however, so something to work on there. And well executed tumble turn means that I go into the last 25 in second place. Head up throughout the race, so something to work on there, keeping my head down throughout. But I manage to stick the finish nicely. So coming out of that video, a few things to work on there, including first of all, keeping my head down throughout the entirety of the race. As you saw in that video, my head was quite high up out of the water, creating quite a bit of extra drag, meaning that naturally I slowed down as the race went on. So something to focus on there. With regards to that, that's all about keeping your composure within the race because you are sprinting very, uh, yeah, you're, you're going at your absolute max. It's very easy to throw your head around, especially when you are feeling the need to take in air and therefore you start throwing your head around, trying to get it out as quickly as possible. So in those circumstances, it's necessary to keep the composure, uh, keep the head down and make sure that you breathe out uh, to the side um, in a nice smooth manner to ensure that you are not creating that extra drag. Similarly as well, also have to work on my stroke rate. So it was a lot smoother in that race than it has been in a number of other races where I was keeping a nice steady rhythm. However, naturally I still think that there is room there to speed up that stroke rate as well as smoothen it out a little bit because you can still see a little bit of clunkiness um, uh, in there still. However, that will come with practice, hopefully with my weight loss regime, that that will also help in that regard because the lighter I am, the, you know, the less uh, there is to move through the water and therefore the smoother that I can get that stroke rate. So currently already working on that. Um, however, just something also to be mindful of technique wise uh, in the build up towards English nationals in late October this year. Regardless, still a very good swim and a personal best. Just a little bit disappointing that I couldn't uh, improve on that uh, further going under that 28 mark. I definitely think it's within me. Uh, my 50 meter freestyle seems to have stalled 
over the past uh, year or so. However, that could be down to the fact that I've been concentrating on the 100 meters a little bit more, which is has its own nuances. And therefore, if I've been focusing on that, it means that also I'm not quite doing as much uh, all out sprint work uh, for that 50 meters. And so it's something to tidy up there. Similarly, at the same time, that uh, extra speed for the 50 meters will also go towards helping my 100 meters freestyle time. So maybe it's time to shift the needle a little bit back more towards uh, working on my 50 meters freestyle for nationals at the end of this year. However, a good race, I feel as though I'm on track for that sub 60, 100 meters, which is what I'm hoping for uh, in October. Uh, but otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time.